friends, welcome back to Nate's Mom Plans. My name is Val. Today I am working in my classic happy planner. This is my catch-all. This is the Homestead Planner. This is what the page looks like. I'm going to be pulling in this kit from Messy Mom Designs. This is page A, which has some washi strips up here and six full boxes. This kit is called Pink Pumpkins. I thought it would go really well with what's already on the page, so I don't have to really change anything with the colors. So there's page A. Page B has some more washi and four more full boxes. So you get a total of 10 full boxes in this kit. This is page C, which gives you some washi strips, your to-dos, and this week headers. You also have some checklists here and some smaller checklists along the side there. Page D has three Monday through Sunday boxes. You get your weekend banner as well as your date dots, your date covers, some deco. Page E gives you your half boxes and quarter boxes. And page F gives you some more checklists, three habit trackers, some hydrate trackers, and some checklist boxes. So let's go ahead and get started with this. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put down some washi and then I'm gonna lay down the date dots with the date covers. So, I've never used kits from her before. This will be the first time she had a sale when she opened her shop and I jumped on right away and purchased. So we'll see how these will play with the Happy Planner. That is just a touch short, but that is fine. It's not a big deal. These are thick enough that I don't have to white out the background here where it has the days of the week. I'm just lining this up to the top of that line right underneath the dates. And that side is just a touch short as well. I am going to attempt to lay down the date covers, but I think what I want to do is I want to put them, I want to go ahead and put the numbers on them first. So we will get that done. There is enough in this kit other than the date covers. This kit will go for at least two weeks, if not more. Sort of struggled with the six there. try and leave Messy Mom Designs information down in the description box so you can check out her shop as well. These are made for the Happy Planner. She also has stickers. She has them for the vertical layout as well as the dashboard layout because that's what she uses is the dashboard. And I believe that she also has stickers for Erin Condren. But like I said, these ones are specifically for the Happy Planner. Sometimes using a kit is a lot of fun. It's very decorative. You know that everything's gonna match. But also, for me, it's not as time consuming because I'm not having to search for what I'm gonna use 
in my layout. I don't have to think about color coordinating, finding things that match, flipping through multiple sticker books for what I need, like everything's here. So I do enjoy that part of using a kit. If you haven't used one, you should try at least once and see what you think. I do own almost, almost all of Happy Planner sticker books, but it's still nice to branch out every once in a while and use kits. And I do like to support Etsy shops. Okay, let me, these are not removable paper. So you wanna be careful if you do need to pull up your stickers. Try to do it right away instead of waiting. Let me see what I want to use for full boxes. I think what I'm going to do is, let me see how these fit. First of all, so I think I need a header. So let's see what headers we want to use. She has quite a few in here. They're also known as washi strips. I think I'm going to go with this lighter color that is in the date covers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up here on The orange line, well, it's kind of a peachy pink color line, and I'm just going to line it up right on it and go straight across. And I don't care what order they're in, how I pulled them off, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter to me one bit. The biggest thing is just trying to make sure that they are lined up straight across the best that I can. This one looks like it's up just a tad. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this box line it up to the bottom of the washi strip. Ooh, 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 I don't like that. Hold on. Like I said, they are not removable and that did tear a teensy tiny bit. So I just wanna line it up right along the bottom. These are just a hair too skinny for this box. So I think I'm just gonna go straight across the center with my boxes. Yeah, I don't know if you, let me see if I can pull this up so you can see. It's just a hair short on the side there. Not a big deal. I know she's brand new at making these. And I can imagine that making stickers would be pretty difficult. This is sticking here. So I think I'm gonna have to trim just a little bit off there. And 
this one and we'll put right down there. Okay, we're gonna get this one down. And I don't normally do this. I usually mix up my boxes. I just decided I would try something new and put all my decorative boxes in the middle. And I'm gonna have to find one more off of the other sheet to put down here. So I will do that. I'm gonna put this one on the end. with that one okay let me see here if I can get it all right there's all of my boxes she gives you a ton to work with so I'm gonna take this Monday through Sunday box My stickers aren't cut clean, so I'm struggling a little bit with that. But I'm going to take this Monday through Sunday box. I am going to attempt to line this up here on my sidebar. And there we go. I will use that box to track my husband's work schedule. I'm going to go with these green patterned headers underneath my boxes. And I should probably grab my tweezers for this part. So we're just gonna get these laid down all across here. between the pink this color and this color for my half boxes so I'll start with the pink here I'm gonna go ahead since I have that washi down I'm just gonna butt this up against the washi I'm not gonna put another header down I'm just gonna line that up right there I'm gonna go ahead and take the next pumpkin box, but it's not cut right, so let me trim this down. In case you were wondering, I purchased multiple kits. I think I purchased six kits from Messy Mom Designs. I'm kind of hoping that they're not all cut this way. It's not a big deal. I can, you know, I can work with it. It's just a pain in the ass. So I'm gonna do that one there and then this one here. I'm gonna go back to the pink. Pink is gonna go on Thursday. When I use kits, I like to plan without any white space. So no white space planning, but only when I use a kit. Just bumping that box right up against that bottom header there, or that the bottom of that washi tape there. Let me go ahead and get, let me do this one first. It just, it's just not cut right. 
I thought this was going to be a really fast plan with me, but apparently not. Because I'm having to fix these stickers as I go. Okay. I am doing this pretty late on Sunday night. I like to get my filming done on the weekends. However, I did not get any filming done at all until now. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use the quarter boxes, put them underneath here, and I'm not gonna do a box there. Trim out that one. We're gonna do alternating again, just going down the line. So we're gonna use Maybe I do want to put a washi strip between. Or do I want to pull out some of my own washi? I got these ready. I got four of them ready. What I'm going to do, and I'll show you on the first one, I'm going to go ahead and lay down this quarter box. Just like that. Underneath it, I'm going to do, this is a three checklist box. I don't like the way that it went down. So, oh my gosh, it is pulling up the paper behind it. Of course it is. Okay. There we go. That's how that top section is going to look. Down in the bottom, I'm going to put down this checklist here. And I think I'm gonna put in some a washi strip there. I think that's my plan. So this box is gonna go right here. I will grab this box and put it down. I love the colors in this and with that you can see that this one, this green one, is not down quite straight. Let's try and fix her. Yes, I refer to my stickers as her and my planner is a girl also. So there's that. This floral one right there, and then I will have a pink checklist. I don't know, this one's gonna go here. Okay, another checklist that underneath that which is just about the same color as that. So here is Fridays and Saturdays. Saturdays looks really short on the side there. Go ahead and put the checklist down. We will do one more here on Saturday. On Sunday, I'm thinking I'm gonna put a checklist at the top on Sunday and get that down. And I think I'm gonna put a header with it. So this one's gonna say, to do. She only provided four to do headers. I would have liked to have seen at least seven, if not eight, to-do headers. But that is all she gave us was four in this kit. And I noticed that throughout when I was looking at all of her kits. Underneath that, I don't know why I'm doing Sunday different other than I don't need all of the stuff with it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put that 
quarter box down right there. Let me grab the rest of my checklists and we will get those down here at the bottom of the page. checklists on Sunday. One at the top, one on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to pull in this Simply Gilded Washi right here. And I'm going to go Right across there. Let me go ahead and slice right on the edge. I'll slice right on the edge here. Yeah, I think the peach, it doesn't match perfect, but I think that it, it goes with it just fine. go into a Happy Planner sticker book and I'm going to grab to-do headers to put down right there. So give me one second. This is a teacher sticker book and here's the to-do headers. So I think they will match just fine. They have the pinky red color going on and I'm just going to put them right on the washi. And we'll just do one for every day. I have no intentions on having a super long video and I am pretty darn sure this is going to be long. I apologize. I thought for sure this was going to be a quick in and out, but... You know, it doesn't always work that way. And I'm using the washi because I, like I said, when I use kits, I like to have no white space. So there's that. I think I'm gonna grab a habit tracker and I'm gonna put it on the sidebar underneath the Monday through Sunday. I'm gonna just drop that maybe with a strip of washi. Oops, 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 oops. Let me fix that. Don't try this at home. <laughs> okay. Let's get it lined up here. So, I've been struggling with my daily Bible journaling. So I'm gonna use the habit tracker for that and make sure I'm doing it every day. I've been doing it every couple of days and then reading six chapters to get caught up and that's not the way it's supposed to be. So we need to work on that. I have quite a bit of the kit left. I can even use this in my mini if I wanted to, which I might wind up doing. 
I would consider using the washi strips that are left on the bottom, except for I have a quote down here. It says, desire less and you'll have more. I think I'm gonna leave my spread as it is right now. This is it for this week. If you like what you see, please be sure and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new uploads. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.